Hey guys, it's me, Baby Tano. So, the new update is right around the corner. It may have already been released when this video is uploaded. So, yeah, I find it would be a good time to make some video. In this video, I'll be talking about Necromech. I'll be providing you guys with a detailed and step by step guide on how to obtain them. So, without any further ado, let's head right to the video. Now, let's start with how to acquire them. In order for you to acquire the Necromech of your own, you will need to finish two quests beforehand, namely The Wall Within and Heart of Deimos. The Wall Within needed to be done because you will need to be able to transfer ends into your operator form, aka pressing number 5 on your keyboard. And for Heart of Deimos, this needs to be done because you will need to buy the parts and the blueprint from an NPC called Lloyd, which is located in Necrolisk, which isn't accessible unless you have finished the quest. I won't go through the detail and the information about how to do these two quests since it will be taking too long, but I'm pretty sure there are plenty of videos out there on YouTube that you can find. Next will be about an NPC called Lloyd. As I have previously mentioned that Lloyd is an NPC in Necrolisk. Lloyd will be located in a hidden room on the left from Mother's room, as can be seen in this video. Once you are in front of this door, what you will have to do is to press 5 or do a transference. By doing this, the hidden path will be open, which will then lead you to Lloyd. Lloyd is a special NPC that has its own syndicate called Necroloid, similar to the Quill in Cedars and Little Duck in Fortuna. In order for you to level up Necroloid Syndicate, you will need to use an Orokin Matrix to trade for the points, which can be acquired by doing bounties in Necrolis called Isolation Vault. There will be a total of 3 difficulty for this Isolation Vault, which are level 30 to 40, 40 to 50, and 50 to 60, and each of these will drop different quality of Orokin Matrix. The first quality of Orokin Matrix is called Orokin Orientation Matrix. The second quality is called Orokin Ballistics Matrix. And the last is called Orokin Animus Matrix. By offering these Orokin Matrix to Lloyd, it will grant you 1000 points, 2500 points, and 5000 points respectively. In the Isolation Vault mission, the Orokin Matrix can be acquired in two ways. First, is to kill the Necromech that spawns in the mission. It is guaranteed that on every Necromech kill, you will drop an Orokin Matrix. On the easiest level of Isolation Vault, there will only be one Necromech, which drop an Orokin Orientation Matrix on death, giving you a total of 1000 points per run. For the second level of Isolation Vault, there will be two Necromechs, and they will drop Orokin Ballistics Matrix instead giving you a total of 5,000 points per run. And for the last level of Isolation Vault, there will be 3 Necromechs, and they will drop Orokin Animus Matrix, giving you a total of 15,000 points per run. For the tips, these Orokin Matrix drops can be increased by using Necro's Desecrate, giving you a chance of doubling the drop, as well as the resource boosters. Now, Moving on to another way to acquire these metrics is by doing a bonus bounty after you have completed the main bounty in Isolation Vault. In order to active this bounty, you will have to find a vault door and then activate the crystal in the middle of that room by attacking it with your operator amp. Once it is activated, Lloyd will spawn and roam around the map, activating four conduits. Once all the conduits are activated, Lloyd will return to the vault door and you will have to complete a puzzle. For this puzzle, you will have to remember the symbols that are shown on the door. You will then have to shoot the pillar around the room according to the order that is shown from top to bottom. You will have 3 chances for this, so make sure that you remember it well, or just let other team members do it instead. 
Once the door is open, you'll receive the reward from the bonus bounty pool, which includes all types of Orokin metrics. And for the tips, although the bonus bounty can give you extra Orokin metrics, but the chance of getting it is actually pretty low. So if your goal is to mainly farm the Orokin metrics, then I would recommend you to just skip the bonus bounty and reset after the Necromech are destroyed. Now, let's talk about how to get Necromech. There are two main ways to get Necromech, which is first, obviously, you straightly buy it from the market for 375 platinum, which it will come with an Orokin reactor installed and a free Necromech slot. The second way, which is the recommended way, is to get Necromech by purchasing the parts and blueprint from Lloyd. Once you have given enough Orokin metrics to Lloyd to level up, you have an access to Necromech parts once you reach level 1 in Necroid Syndicate. The blueprint, however, will be accessible once you are ranked 2, which means that in order to build a mech of your own, you need to be at least ranked 2 in Necroloid. And for the tips again, after every ranking up in Necroloid Syndicate, Lloyd will offer you an item from the rank that you are upgrading to. So, if you want to be efficient, I would recommend you to pick one of the Necromech parts once you rank up from 0 to 1, and then pick the blueprint once you rank up from 1 to 2, since it can save you as much as 7000 points. On the other hand, if you didn't pick any of this during the ranking up, then you will have to spend a total of 13,000 points to buy all the parts and the blueprint, so make sure to pick them up. Also, there's one more thing I forgot to mention. The Necromech parts are also a blueprint, which means that you have to craft them before combining those parts with the main blueprint. For the damaged Necromech parts that are needed, those can also be found through the isolation vault. These damaged parts will have a chance to drop from the Necromech, but by the time you have collected enough Orokin metrics to both leveling up and buying all the parts, you should have enough damage part by then. If not, then oh well, I guess you have to farm more. For each part, it will take 12 hours to make, and to craft a mech, it will take another 72 hours or 3 days. So, better hurry up if you don't want to be late on the new update content. And that will be it for this video. I hope the information that I brought to you guys today are useful for the new update. And as the usual, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and leave a comment if there's anything you don't understand, or maybe if I have missed some crucial information in the video. And anyway, thanks for watching, and enjoy your farm.